Okay guys, the audio on that was a bit, uh, a bit uh, with the game. So this is a game that I made called Firestorm. Um, it was actually a collaboration between uh, me and uh, a few guys from the university uh, as our final year project. This version of the game is one that I then continue to do little bits of work on in the, the kind of the weekends after that. Um, as you can see, uh, the HUD and stuff doesn't quite work. It's all a bit like not, it's not quite there. Um, the goal of the game was as a uh, uh, kind of a, an infinite space exploration 2D like top-down game. Uh, if I throttle up the ship here, which uses Wasad, the controls are a bit funky. Ah, there we go. Um, you can see you can kind of move around and accelerate. Um, it uses Newtonian physics to do the ships, which is obviously not like particularly great uh, in a 2D environment. Uh, let me get over there. So these are little bits dropped by the by the enemies when destroyed. I've got automated point defense turrets on this particular ship, and I've also got some heavy duty cannons which I fire with the right mouse button for uh, basically wrecking shit. Um, as you can see, we've got the uh, shield effects there. I'm having a bit of trouble keeping up with this guy. There we go. Uh, so the controls aren't particularly great. The graphics were, you know, I'm happy with them. Uh, hopefully you can actually hear what I'm saying. I recorded this. The game is so loud. Um, there you go. Um, in fact, actually, the one we submitted for the uh, for the final report had uh, uh, the background music was Intergalactic by the um, is it Beastie Boys. Is it the Beastie Boys? Oh God, I don't know. So yeah, that was uh, that was incredibly obnoxious. Uh, let me see if I can take out this carrier. Now, I had no idea what those particle explosions are doing down there. I think those are the, the particle effects that appear in the bottom right there. Uh, sorry, the bottom left are my um, are the explosions from my point defense flak turrets, which are the little dotty things. Um, yeah, I'm not 100 percent sure what's going on there. Yeah, so. The idea was it was going to be a, an infinite scrolling space exploration game. We did uh, basically tons of work on it in... Uh, this, was, this was made in 2010, I think. Um, and what I'd, what I'd love to do, and what I've always wanted to do, is actually like you know do it properly. So the last sort of two or three years I've been playing around with Unity 3D. Uh, we're going to jump into another game in a minute, which is one that I made in Unity 3D, which was like my next, like, you know, mucking around, testing stuff. Um, yeah, so what I will do is exit this game. This, uh, oh, actually, this game was made in uh, Microsoft XNA. Um, we did have a play around of running it on an Xbox. Um, at the, uh, the end of the day, um, fortunately, the XNA project was closed down. Um, so yeah, then uh, then I did I did do a version of this in mono game actually, so I translated it all into to run in mono game, um, and then that kind of got superseded by Unity 3D, which was obviously much uh, uh, much better. Um, so yeah, all of all of the all of the graphics and stuff in this was made by scratch, made from scratch. The you got like. Um, our own particle system that uh, everything loads out of XML files. Actually, it's a bit disappointing. Actually, from the look of it, it's not particularly. Um, doesn't look very good. It doesn't look very complicated. The gameplay is not. There's not really any gameplay mechanics there at all. But actually, under the hood, it was technically pretty, uh, pretty good considering we put it together in about a month, um, and uh, it got us all first. So I'm not too, uh, too worried about that. But it's always been that little thing that I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to make it better. Okay, so let's uh, let's jump into the the Unity remake and see where we go with that. 